so well I would, I would like to take this opportunity to disclose the plan of the deep fit how they have been planning to stop Uruto 2022. You remember there was uh, a report from Uitumbe of Namada Hotel and many people did not take it seriously. I want to start strategizing. They were strategizing the way the deputy president they will stop him. It's a long journey for deep state. And what they started, it is Namada. And when they saw that they cannot be able, the plan they had planned, they left there. And when it was disclosed, they ran away from that. But they, I would like to start with the plan A, how they started. You know very well that in Lila Odinga's house, the sister of Uhuru went there with a group of the family and they discussed how to stop Uhuru 2022. And they saw it, the only the best thing is how they can be able to accommodate Lila Odinga. And it's very clear, and people know that it is on the minute of the people, though they know what happened. Then after that, they left and went and met the mother of Uhuru, Mamangena, Uhuru Kenyatta. And when they went there, they strategized. And this is the process of deep set, how they went. They got the mother of Uhuru, and they went now to Leila Odinga's house. And when they went there, they agreed on the strategy. Because they were looking at Leila Odinga because they know very well that Leila Odinga, he has a lot of propaganda. And they saw if he's not in that group, they will not be able to succeed. Because Leila Odinga, he has master's degree of propaganda and confusion. Na hakuna mtu wanashikanaga nae na asipake ye mafi. Awachi akinuka, lakini yeye anajua kuoga. So when they got Leila Odinga, they talked, they agreed, and they made the plan. They went and saw Mamangena, they agreed. Now Mamangena and the sister and daughters to go to see Leila Odinga in Karen, in the residence. And when they went there, they discussed then when they brought Leila in the boat. So when the first plan was they must go in handshake. And the handshake was to bring Leila in the boat. It was not handshake for the peace. It was handshake to destroy Deputy President 2022. Mm -hmm. And when they went there, they discussed. And the leader came with this strategy. The most important thing, it is to kupaka Ruto Matope Yawizi. Because he is very good. Wakasemo auze hiyo kabisa Yawizi. Which we have never seen it in the court or anywhere. Let alone, they saw this is now plan B is not working properly for them. Nancy Gitao and the peers, internal security, they made another plan, and Matian. Nancy Gitao, if many people don't know him, he is a strategist and he is a divisor for the president. They made several hot meetings. With who? With the lawyer who is in Hague now. And they agreed that that strategy plan they would have because the two plans they had, it failed. How can they get this lawyer? Now, Amusha Ikezi, the ICC. Why I'm saying that the lawyer, I know him. He is my friend. He has bought land in Bahati. 50 acres, I know. And we used to talk with him when he was supporting Leir, when he was supporting Uhuru and Ruto. And he was a big supporter when he was doing that. And lastly, about a month, he called me. And I was shocked, telling me 
I've changed my position, and now this guy called Ruto, we are going to stop him to be elected 2022. With which plan? I'm going to hate and I'm going to fix him. That now is the other plan which they have now. After failing all these other plans, the plan they have now, it is to use that lawyer in Hague to look the way they can get, Luther can be infected, he can be convicted with this. So they can be able to see how their plan C, whether it can work. And he talked with me and he told me all those things. And I was shocked. A good friend who was friend for Ruto, who was friend for the president, and he worked for them. And he was given to be very senior in the procurement, and he was appointed in that seat. I think when things get got bad, that seat was withdrawn. And after that, now he's in Hague trying to see how they can fix the deputy president. Those are three, plan A, plan B, plan C. The deficit. And let me tell Kenyans, it's nothing, there's nothing new I've said. This is in dominion. You know how it was going. I've just got the structure and the latest plan C of Hague the way they are planning. And I'm asking myself, if Uhuru and Ruto went there and they were released, you can agree with me that the strategy they are doing for this lawyer, I have talked with him as my friend, I know him. It is now the plan C of seeing how they can stop the deputy president in 2022. And I want to confirm to you, the mistake also they did, it is involving a Tory in this issue. And he totally doesn't know how to stop to stop talking because he's not a politician. He's just a broker and a psychophant. He disclosed that he wants to assure Kenyans and take it to the bank. The deputy president who not in the ballot 2022. That was not a truly, that was a deep state. The plan in the head and the plan they have even now. So I'll ask Kenyans, if you want this Kenya to be peaceful, I ask my president, you are going to retire. Please, don't be cheated by these brokers. We supported you 2013. We supported you 2017, two times. And I also remind you, the current voted for you 2022. Four times they have stood with you. We know the deputy president, the Lord we prayed, will support you. Please, our president, don't put us in an awkward situation when you know very well the strategy. A and B is not working. Now you have gone to C. And nobody ought to recall this cross. It is you. And when this thing you go in Hague and the way they are planning, the case was the two people. Then if you not be back, two of you, and who was leading, it is you as a president. You must answer what you are trying to fix in the DP. And you are leading on this. And present me, I'm your friend, and I'll tell you the truth. That is not the way. That road you are passing is very dangerous for Kenyans. Ruto has a lot of sympathy vote because of the way you dipped it. You are doing and you are treating him. And one of the conditions I want to remind you, which you agreed on handshake, those was just uh, words, but one of it is to destroy Jubilee, which has worked. And one of the conditions was you must fix the people of the deputy president of the city. Do the research and see the people he has fixed in the government who is working and he has chastened all other people. Kalenjin, Kikuyus who are not working with them, he has disposed them, all of them. And it has worked with the leader's condition. Even the parliament, they have taken over, which is, have never been seen in the history of the world. That you win with the Jubilee, 
with the deputy president and us. You get in the box of Raila Odinga to remove all that and to get back to Raila Odinga in opposition and destroy the MPs, young politicians. They have been destroyed because of the fear. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to do because of that confusion. It has never happened that the party you want with, with the deputy president, you chase the deputy president in the office. You chase all of us in the parliament and take our seats and give opposition. And now you are driving on the box of Reda Odinga so that he can success you. Not in the party which you want. In the different party of opposition. In the world, it has never happened. You could have gone back even to the Jubilee and say, if you don't want to Ruto, the same party brought you in power. And tell them, I don't want the deputy president. Can we look for another candidate? Mm -hmm. That would be seen, you being loyal to 8 million people who voted for you. You don't call PG. You took the party. You took the parliament. With the opposition, it's in your hands. Messing this country. All the things they are doing is messing the country. You have messed the country, and you know now we are going for election. You are still pushing VBI. My president, I want to remind you, it all started in Mombasa when you called us Washenzi. That is the where the problem started. And the handshake, it is not what you are telling us. Because when the leader came out, the first thing was, we must finish Ruto. Any other day he is going, the first word is to fight Ruto. Was that a strategy of handshake? Was that a strategy of debris? Was that a strategy which you told us here in the Lift Valley? Which you told us here in the All those things they are going completely opposite of your words. And I want to appeal to you as our president. We love you and that's why we voted for you all those several times. And the people who put you in the problem, it is these people you are carrying now. They have taken over. The budget we have done now, I want to talk Kenyans. And that's now why they are going. All those people in the seat, check them. They have put themselves on budget from the Minister of Finance. All of them, the seat they have taken for finance in there, in the, in the, in the assembly. They have put them enough money for themselves, rooting openly, you knowing this money is not going to the Kenyans. But it's a budget for ODM and few people. And you know that. Provided they will cover you all the other things you have let them take in the money. If you look at those people with the chairs, they are stealing money in the budget in the way of the project on their own areas. And that's why we are saying there must be something wrong. Finally, your Excellency, you know very well on Geeky community, minority in this country. When one of them died, because when he died, one of the Ongiek, the letter which had been written for appointing the one who succeeded that seat for Senate. You have taken it in the central. And I want to ask you, you are people they are not even clever being Tuju and Kinamurabe. You are talking that in Yongiek, there was one person have you achieved the Kenyans that you have taken him in the national national seat in Jibiri and you have done that because he is the one you wanted to appoint and he is old. I want to ask you openly on your eyes, you to you and your group and the present because you must be have consented. You mean you are the only two? The one who died and the one you are supposed to appoint and you took him the national board of Jubilee. The letter I've said, this city is for minority. 
according to the letter of two days there in the domain of people. I want to ask you, this seat you have given somebody who is your supporter, and we know that, 100% in the Kinako. But I want to ask you, is a Kikuyu minority, according to the data of Kenya, it is a shame saying that it is for minority. And the person you have given is a Kikuyu. And we know we Kikuyus, we are not minority. We are the majority. Even the parliament, even the senate. If you don't get anybody else, you won't tell Kenyans, Ongiki, they are only the two in Kenya. We have a number of Ongiki. But that shows how you hate Ongiki community, how you hate Left Valley, how you hate Nakuru, how you hate the constituency where there are people who voted for you. That's what you have shown. And that is tribal line. And if you go in that tribal line, I want to tell you, Your Excellency, when we come to 2022, you are going to create a big problem. And that you cut it. Leave what you are trying to fix a little in Hague. You leading it. And you know we prayed for you and Deputy President for you to come out. The people you are working, wa working with, they are strategies of the people who are taken to Hague. And that's why you have brought them the board and cheated Kenyans that it is a handshake. There's no handshake there. The handshake was how to remove Ruto in power. We are going to pray for the Deputy President. We are going to stand with him with a prayer.